I'm going to do a zucchini, onion and I'm going to use up this uh, yellow pepper and um, because I'm using zucchini I'm going to use a bit of thyme. This makes a lovely side for chicken dishes, anything Mediterranean. I've got some black pepper and I've got some salt and I've got some olive oil to cook it all in. So let's go ahead. So top and tail it, split it down the middle and then I cut it into diagonals like that. I want it quite chunky. So that's that chopped up pepper. Real quick. I've done a few videos on chopping up things like peppers which um, I'll show you my quick ways of doing things and so you end up with really quick chopped up pieces so you don't, you don't waste any time. I like to cut the, my peppers like that because then they're round about the same the same size as that for stir frying purposes. Likewise with the onion. I'm going to use the whole of this brown onion. I could also use a bit of garlic all ready to go. Now I'm going to get my stove up to heat. About three tablespoons of olive oil. Okay the first thing into the oil is onions and then my peppers and then my zucchini or courgettes as we call them in the UK. I like them nice and chunky like that. And then I just allow that to cook. It's still on full heat because this is stir frying and I'll just keep stirring and frying it until I get the desired colour on the uh, vegetables. Okay while well, that's browning off what I'm going to do is going to add a bit of black pepper, some salt and I'm going to put in about half a teaspoon of dried thyme. You can use a sprig of fresh thyme if you have it. Oh, the smell of that is lovely. And stir that in just to get the, the, the thyme activated in there. And um, I'm, I'm not putting the garlic yet because I don't want it to burn. And now that things are starting to brown up, what I like to do now is add in the garlic. That's just two cloves of garlic which have chopped up fairly roughly. And stir that in. That smells amazing now, that's garlic and thyme and the olive oil, just really lovely, along with the black pepper and the salt, really nice. Right, the next thing I want to do now is get that steaming a little bit, so to do that uh, you need a pan with a lid or a wok lid or something like that, and then what I'm going to do is tip in oh, about less than half a cup of water and then put that on so that it steams and we just leave that to steam for a couple of minutes. The steaming also has the effect of 
We're deglazing the, the the fond off the bottom of the frying pan and then uh, incorporating that into the stir fry. So after a couple of minutes we lift the lid, see where we are and then what I want to do now is just continue to stir and fry that because I don't want the vegetables to lose too much texture. I like them to be a little bit crunchy. I don't like them overcooked. And that, I have to tell you boys and girls, that just smells amazing. I think I need a little another dusting of uh, black pepper on that one. And I'm going to sprinkle that uh, with some parsley. And there you have it. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.